Hello guys, so this is the second part of our detailing video. Today we're going to focus on the exterior of the car and the exterior of the car only. So what we're going to do is, we're going to start with the iron removal and start off with the wheels. And uh, I'm going to spray this iron remover in it. So let's get started with the wheel. It's a gel formula. And as you can see, it starts pulling off iron contaminants. It starts turning yellow. It reacts with the metal particles on the um, surface and it uh, speeds up the rusting process. I worked in the iron remover into the wheels and uh, to get a ma maximum effect, so to speak. Just going to agitate the tires now. Using the pump spray today, just to rinse off the tires and the wheels. And add some protection as in the previous video. Now we're gonna clay bond the car. I cleaned the car yesterday, however, just gonna wipe it down with my, um, with my wrist and solution. Gonna give it a quick wipe. Optimum no rinse, dilute it down to be a quick detailer, and we're going to use this pure definition paint cleanser. That's a detailing clay bar, I don't know what's the grade in it, but we'll see how, what kind of job it does. So I'm just going to start rubbing it in tactically, and as you can see, see how open the noise it makes. It's like sandpaper almost, it's really good, there's a lot of contamination. So I'm going to be working it in thoroughly, clay bar. Play bar is quite abrasive. And as you can hear, as soon as the noise coming off, it will always start picking up some dirt on the surface. It's absolutely clean. It's beautiful with a clay bar, you can improve um, the cleanliness of the surface. I'm just gonna Low, low, it's a cleaner side. I'm going to be doing it for each segment. I'm probably going to break this into six sections. This rooftop. I'm just going to. I need to do more of a mist kind of. Okay, put some more. Right, let's go into town. As soon as the surface gets smooth, you jump on to the next section. And uh, as you can see, it does pull off quite a bit of dirt. And normally these clay bars last two to three cars. I wouldn't go more than three cars. We're going to use the same technique on the windows. The clay bar is quite abrasive and it will clean up the uh, window quite well. Working on the lower section of the car, like the bumpers, it's a bit finicky because you will need to shape your clay bar to the shape of the bumper, basically, all the curvy areas. And if you won't be able to pick the dirt up from the bumper, you might need to use like a tar remover to clean up those tight areas or maybe a little bit of a polish. But the next step will be polishing. And I think the car looks really nice. Just removing some paint defects. You might see them on the sun here. I don't want hundred percent perfection. I just want to hide them as much as I can. Well, I mean not hide them, but just even them out as much as I can. So they're less visible and that's about it. So what I have here guys is my SPTA polisher. I'm gonna put the battery in it now. I'm gonna prime the pad and the polish that I'm gonna use today is Meguiar's ultimate compound. I'm going to use it on the roof, the bonnet, the sides of the car. I'm using the polisher on more exposed areas, let's say, and all the 
lower areas like the bumpers or intricate areas I just I'm just gonna polish my hand and I'm gonna use Meguiar's ultimate polish I use the toothbrush to clean the pores of my polishing pad I'm using Meguiar's ultimate polish with a Zonex applicator pad. I'm not seeking 100% perfection as I said before because it's a daily driven car and it needs that clear coat more for protection and I think the car looks great anyway and the swirl marks don't really bother me. This is a Zonex Sera wax. I like using it because it is actually a cleaner wax. And uh, I'm not sure about the formula formulation, whether it has any abrasives or whatnot. But I like the fact that it can remove tar spots and uh, it has a little bit of carnauba in it and will improve the gloss. And it's a cheap wax and it's easy to apply and it can be applied on direct sunlight. So it's a really user friendly wax. Also tried applying it on the trim, the glossy trim, and it seemed to do a nice job. And then also notice that buffing off the this wax is really easy, even under direct sunlight. But however, I don't let it, I don't let it sit on the surface. I remove it straight away. So this is it for today guys, um, I did a massive job on the paint work, there's still some areas that I want to address in the car and I'll feature them in my next videos, there's some work left to do, however this is a massive improvement for this car and uh, I'm pretty happy with the results. So thank you for watching the video guys, like and subscribe and I'll catch you in my next videos.